Hello all, this is Matt from Camelot Classic Cars and in the next couple minutes we'll be showing you how to test an old 6 volt Delco generator. Now the concepts here will apply to either a 6 volt or a 12 volt. It's just the one that we have here on the bench is a 6 volt. For all you history nerds, when we take a look at the tag, you'll see the number on the left, 1102667. That is the model number. And then the digits on the right, 1A6, represent the uh, date code when it was manufactured. The 1, because this is a 6-volt system, had to be 1941 or 51. This is a 1951. A is the month, January, the first month of the year. A, the first letter of the alphabet. And 6 is the day. So this particular generator made January 6th, 1951. As with any generator, there are two terminals coming out of it. One is your uh, armature. It's, this one is marked with the letter A that we see there by my thumb. That's our armature. The other one that is marked with an F, shown there just uh, on top of the lug, is our field coil. Then of course this bolt is our ground. Now usually these have a radio suppression that's applied there to keep the wind down on radios. That's not shown here, won't affect the performance of the generator. But when you hook it up to your car, if you don't want that whining noise in your radiator, this will take a condenser. So uh, we'll pause here for a minute. We'll hook up some wires and show you how to test the 6-volt generator. All right, now what I've done right after the short pause was I connected a jumper wire. Now I turned the generator around because I'm right-handed. So now the armature tab marked A is facing on the top. Our field terminal F is on the bottom. And our jumper wire is going to go from the field terminal to ground. Now this is only going to be done for testing purposes because what your voltage regulator does, which is the subject of another video, is your voltage regulator will regulate the voltage by putting the field between open and ground hundreds of times a second. And what that will do is by keeping it an open circuit will shut off the voltage, it won't charge. Putting it to ground will make it go to infinity so this is constantly a voltage regulator turning this on and off to ground 100 times uh, again a second. And again, it's uh, not the topic of today, but your voltage regulator, just a scrap one that we have laying around here, looks like this. And again, we have three solenoids in there. Uh, one is your cutout switch, the other one your current regulator, the other one your voltage regulator. Um, again, that's a topic of another session but that is how we regulate the voltage coming out of the generator. So let's take another quick pause and we will hook up our voltmeter. All right, now for our voltmeter, we have our positive lead going to the armature terminal and our negative lead, which I have through the series of alligator clamps, also going to ground, which remember for our test is the same place that our field terminal is going to. Now, when I turn on our voltmeter, we're going to set it to the voltage scale. And of course, right now we're reading zero volts. And of course, when we spin this by hand, nothing's going to happen because this needs to spin quite a lot before we can get any voltage out of it. So we're not getting anything right now. Now, you'll note that when we do put the drill on the end of it, we're going to put the drill right on the end of the pulley nut, that this is a six volt generator. However, because we have the field terminal shorted out or going right to ground, there is going to be no voltage regulator hooked up to this unit. So what you're going to see is our voltage is going to very quickly spike. And I can't keep it there very long, but if I were to put the drill and continue to spin this, that voltmeter would keep on going up and up and up to infinity and eventually burn out the unit. So just for a second, we're going to put the drill on the end of it. I will keep, well, I'll show you where it's going, right here on the end. And we're just going to rotate it. And as I do that, I'm going to keep the camera on our voltmeter. And just for a second, you saw it went up to 14 volts. We're going to do it again. Not very long. In that case, it's spiked up at 18 volts. And remember, this is a 6-volt generator. But very quickly, without regulating that voltage, it will keep on climbing up and go well above the 6 volts that we need. Technically even be used, I suppose, for a 12 volt system um, because the voltage regulator, again, will regulate that voltage for whatever your battery is rated for. And that is how you test a Delco Remy generator.